Hello friends, Justin DeLay from Reverb, and we are here on the floor at this year's 2019 KnobCon synth conference outside of Chicago. We are just going to go hit the floor, hang out with some of our friends, take a look at what's new, and listen to some of the new gear that's coming out for the fall and for the holiday season. So let's just dive right in. Right as we walk through the door, who else do we find? But our good friend Nick from Curious Sound Objects showing off the bitty pocketable drum machine slash synthesizer going to be shipping post Kickstarter later this year, bleeding into next year, right? Officially February, maybe earlier. Okay, so this is uh this is a drum one. A boom bap kit, you can play it fully manually. Uh, if you hold down, uh, typically on all of these, this is pitch and this is some sort of time. On this one, it's pattern. Uh, like this is kind of a, a trappy kit. Typically a one shot. Like, uh, this this is a, a harmonic one. It plays a, a, a kind of C minor. Also, there's an envelope. Uh, you can kind of you, if, you, if you go if you set it to thirds, you can kind of get spring break out of it. Uh, this is basically, this is actually one of the drum, uh, the drum kits, but it's set to like, like, like here you have the whole thing. It, it plays the sample and it constantly loops and this sets the out point. So like, here's like half of that sample and then you keep going down and it just starts, it just starts playing bits. So it's getting into kind of like really like borderline granular stuff because this pot jiggles. And so the out head, the out head plays like pixels, basically, you know? Uh, they're all the same hardware. You swap the software with USB. Uh, there's probably uh, 20, safely 12 patches that are finished. This is a, a square, a squarey filtery. So this is a, a predetermined set of intervals. You can set the root of the whole thing. You can go really low and then go like. Like the microcontroller outputs two 7 bit channels that get summed into 14 with analog stuff, and there's like some like slight like uh, distortion introduced into that. I'm leaving it. It sounds good. <laughs> We just came across the brand new, shipping later this year, Modal Electronics Argon 8, 8 voice Wavetable Synth. And my good friend, sir, will you tell us a bit more about it? Yeah, of course. So we have a Wavetable Synthesizer, as you said, 8 voice Polyphonic. But we've got some really, really nice tricks up our sleeve. We've got some oscillator modifiers and something new for us, which is a WAV modifier, a process that you apply to the wave shapes after you've dialed in whatever you want and whatever modulation is going on. So it just makes there a huge amount of combinations from like wave shapes and modulation and stuff that you can actually get from within here. Um, we've also got a really, really nice sequencer and an arpeggiator in there, so it's a really, really good performance tool as well. And a whole bunch of effects that you can dial in and kind of reconfigure the way that you want. Uh, it's just really, really powerful performance-wise and just sound design-wise, it's a bit crazy. It'd be really good to kind of play through some patches and uh, let you hear it. Let's hear it.
Okay, that is the first look at the Argon 8, and it is coming out November for a price point of uh, 699 map uh, US. Yeah. We're here with the Erica Sense Visionary Geertz, and we're going to be checking out their upcoming Pico System 3. So, do you want to give us a quick run through? Pico System 3, as we put it, brings uh, back modular synthesis to basics. Starting from uh, subtractive synthesis, additive synthesis, uh, FM synthesis. So we have a four-step sequencer, which can be switched to two, three, four steps. We have two analog VCOs. One is with pulse width modulation, other is with distinct wave shaper, which uh, shapes uh, triangle wave into a square wave and then adds pulse width modulation. So plenty of mixing opportunities. We have a modulation source, LFO, uh, with a pulse output, sign output, clock input, so you can sync several systems uh, with other gear. You have random out noise, you have two voltage controlled envelope generators which are, which are looping and at fast okay. rates they can work as uh, VCOs. We have two low pass gates, again we have resonance uh, knobs here so you can put them into resonance and turn them into VCOs. You have a BBD delay uh, with a Oh, cool. Time control, uh, cool. what time co CV yeah. control over time, and several mixers. Most importantly, for those who want to recall patches instantly, we have uh, all uh, inputs and outputs routed to the voice card. This one, LPG Techno uh, voice card by uh, my colleague Kodak. The voice card essentially replaces uh, patching, so it has. Uh, it makes a patch for you and then you just apply a stencil from user manual, adjust knobs and have LPG Techno. Cool. It will come also with uh, DIY voice cards, which are blank. So you can, when you come up with uh, some spectacular patch, you can replicate it on the DIY voice card by soldering small wires or resistors here. And Okay, we are here at the ASM booth, uh, which is a new, pretty exciting brand of synthesizer that is going to be coming out here later this year. So we've got the Hydrosynth, which is an eight-voice, user-definable wavetable synthesizer, plus a whole lot more. So, so yeah, it's uh, got three oscillators. The oscillators uh, have single-cycle waveforms. You can create your own wavetables. We don't have preset wavetables. You can go in and you can choose up to eight different waves to scan with on each of the oscillator one and two. Um, so you can create very classic kind of a PPG wave scan sounds. Just scanning through the waves, it's, it's really a, a beautiful sound. From that then you go into these uh, mutators and the mutators can add FM, they can add uh, all kinds of things, wave stacking, oscillator sync, pulse width mod, three different flavors of pulse width mod, uh, like a typical oscillator sync. So you can get some big thick sweeps. This is our, our, our pulse width mod. So I can uh, go from none of it. So that's the original sound. And add wave scanning and FM and just go crazy on it. I just kind of randomly turn the knob. Yeah, we got a lot of arpeggiation stuff that can be done. The arpeggiator can also be a modulation destination for any of the mod sources. And I'll just do one octave. So. so you got a three note arpeggio. But while I'm holding down the notes, if I hit the D again, I'm going to turn it into four notes. See here, it's doubling up the D now. Oh, interesting. I hit those two again, so it's going to double up all the notes. Huh. So, you're, so you're adding in notes, but it's clustering in. 
yeah. intelligently with So like I'm just adding a whole lot of notes. So. So we've also got the module here. The module uh, takes away the keyboard and the ribbon, the pitch and mod wheels. But uh, it gives you uh, touch sensitive pads. So you can still play. So you can still play it. There's multiple modes to set the pads. You could set scales, like it's a blues scale right now. Street price would be $12.99. $7.99. They should be hitting stores around November 1st. Okay, we are here with Wes from Bukla, and we're about to check out the new Tool 8C Easel Command Module. What you're looking at is pretty much the top portion of a classic easel with a couple of small changes, uh, improvements, enhancements, and uh, we've kind of set it up to be its own standalone device now. Um, so we've uh, overhauled the MIDI. Uh, Unfortunately, we weren't able to get all the boards and everything in there before the show, but the finished one will have uh, CC control over a bunch of parameters and a like, really good um, MIDI control over everything. So you could use this as desktop synth, uh, you could pair it with a uh, 218 and use it like a traditional easel, or you could break the module out, put it in the 200 series, and it's going to play a lot nicer um, with the preset managers and everything like that. A um, couple of the just immediate things that we've added are uh, CV control right on the panel over the envelope generator, which is really fun. It's a super interesting way to get a lot of uh, variation uh, into your patterns and everything like that. We've also added a uh, little white noise generator here um, in the pre envelope bar or in the, in the preamp section there. Um, so that can be used for like just fun little hi hats or let's get this to there. You can really quickly get like, you know, little noise sounds in there. We've also put a digital reverb in there that has a uh, true stereo. Ooh, that's our little kick drum there. Uh, let's get something that's like. A little bit more harmonic. So it's true stereo reverb, it's a digital reverb. You do have the option to hang on to the spring reverb. Uh, it's just a diff different little connection you can do if you so choose. I'm a big fan of the stereo though, um, and we'll abuse the heck out of that in a moment. Uh, right now we're just kind of playing with a little patch that uh, we started making like yesterday where we uh, get a little kick drum pattern with the mod oscillator here. Let's just go from uh, a random voltage source into the pitch of uh, our complex oscillator, our primary oscillator, and then the pulser into uh, this guy here. So you can turn that up and now we've got kind of this like weird trancey vibe going here. We wave shape that back down to a sine wave and then turn it into triangle and then we're going to add a little bit of and then straight to the verb see that's just spring verbs are beautiful wonderful and nice but that true stereo digital it really works quite well for this guy um and then let's get some like funny gross modulation in here from how about this guy excited about this module is uh, we're dropping the price. It's going to be down to uh, $25.99 for just the module. Uh, and in the true spirit of modular, you know, you can just grab a case, power. We're going to start offering our own power and everything as well. Yeah, this fall, definitely, they'll start dropping. Awesome. 